knows he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland? No, my fair cousin, for if we are marked to die, we are and now to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honor. By Jove, I'm not covetous for gold. It concerns me not who feed upon my cost, nor yearns me when other men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it were a sin to covet honor, I'm the most offending soul alive. No, faith, my cuz, do not wish a man from England. God's peace, I would not lose so great an honor as one man more methinks would have for me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather, proclaim it, Westmoreland, through my host, that he who hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. Our passport shall be made, and crowns for his convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company who fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He who outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He who comes safe home and sees old age will yearly on the vigil feast his neighbors and say, Tomorrow is Saint Crispian. And then will he strip his sleeves and show his scars and say, These wounds I had on Crispian's day. <sighs> old men forget. And all shall be forgotten. But he'll remember with advantages the feats he did that day. And then will our names, familiar to his tongue as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Salisbury, Talbot, Warwick and, and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This story shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. And we in it shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he today who sheds his blood with me shall be my brother. And be he ne'er so vile, this day will gentle his condition. And other men in England, now abed, will think themselves a curse they were not here and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks of he who fought with us upon St. Crispian's day. <laughs>